when we transition into example four, example four has two parts. And notice in the previous three examples, they gave us all three, I'm, I'm sorry, in example three, they gave us all three side lengths. Well, in example four, we only have two of the lengths of the sides and then we have the angle included in them. So this is gonna be a two part problem. So we're gonna start by finding the length of segment BC, which is also the length of A. So what I have is I'm going to go back to this version right here. So I have A squared is equal to 17 squared plus 22 squared minus two times 17 times 22 and then times the cosine of 143. All right, now let's erase that, make it a little neater. We're missing a little space there, but we'll go and do that down here. So a squared is equal to 17 squared plus 22 squared minus two times 17 times 22, and then times the cosine of 143 degrees. Notice we're using angle A. So we get here, uh, 289, that's what 17 squared is equal to, plus 484, which is what 22 squared is equal to, minus, if we multiply 2 times 17 times 22, we get 748, and then times the cosine of 143 degrees. All right, so we'll continue on, and we're going to keep these first numbers because we want to do this um, pretty much like order of operations is and the cosine of 143 degrees is negative 597.4 I'm sorry no let me erase that it's actually equal to cosine of 143 is equal to negative 0.7986 okay and we'll continue on a squared is equal to 289 plus 484, and then minus negative 597.4, okay? And I got this five, negative 597.4 by simply multiplying the cosine of 143 by 748. So from here, we'll go right here, and we'll say that A squared is equal to 1370.4. Point four. If we take the square root of both sides, we get A is equal to the square root of 1,370.4. And then when we take the square root of that, we'll get that A is approximately 37 units. Okay, so here we have 37 units for this side. Now, we must go into part two in order to find the measure of angle B. Okay, so we're still looking for this measure of this angle. So... In order to do that, we must go to a second part, and then we're going to use this form of the formula right here. So we have the cosine of B is equal to C squared plus A squared minus B squared. So we're going to go ahead and plug those numbers in. So we say 22 squared plus 37 squared, and we got the 37 from this part of it, and then minus... 17 squared and that's going to be all over 2 times 22 times 37 okay so when we get there we'll go and do some calculations 22 squared is 484 plus 37 squared is 1369 and then minus 289 and that's going to be all over 1,628, okay? So the cosine of B is equal to, let's chug the numbers, 1,564 divided by 1,628. And when we calculate that value, it's going to be equal to 0.9607. So that tells us that the cosine inverse of 0 0.9607 let's erase that a little bit zero seven that's going to equal to b okay and once again 
If you press second cosine in your graphing calculator, a TI calculator uh, to be exact, we're going to get that 116, I'm sorry, 16.1 degrees is equal to the measure of angle B. Okay, now this fourth example, it's a little lengthy, but remember, in order to find the measure of this angle, we have to have the length of 30, uh, I'm sorry, the length of segment BC first. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I appreciate those of you that are watching the videos. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Young Gurus Math Tutoring on YouTube. And I appreciate your support.